In 1974, it was visited by the space probe Mariner 10, which took these close-up pictures of its cratered surface, scarred by meteorites that have battered it over billions of years. On this hostile surface, blasted by lethal doses of high-energy solar radiation, daytime temperatures rise high enough to melt lead. Venus, the brightest planet in our night sky, is the Earth's twin in size, but very different in other respects. Clouds of yellow sulfuric acid shroud its surface from our view. But radar can cut through the clouds, revealing meteorite craters, volcanoes, and valleys. This computer-generated ride over Venus was assembled from radar images taken by a space probe in orbit around the planet. The roughness of the surface has been exaggerated to emphasize the features. Sulfur clouds cast an eerie yellow glow over the landscape. Under the dense atmosphere, temperatures are as hot as an oven, and the pressure is crushing. Nothing could live on Venus. The moon seen here in a computer simulated fly past is the Earth's nearest celestial neighbor. Meteorite craters and dark lowland plains scar its gray and lifeless surface, which has scarcely changed for billions of years. What a contrast with the Earth, a welcoming world of blue oceans, white clouds, and colorful continents. There's Australia, Africa, and South America. Here, photographed by a space probe called Galileo, is the first ever view of the moon moving around the Earth. Let's see that again. And here, also from Galileo, is a close-up of the rotating Earth. Note the sun's reflection off the Pacific Ocean and from rivers and lakes in Australia. The moon is so large in comparison to the Earth, about one quarter its size, that some astronomers think of them as a double planet. Mars, half the size of Earth, is covered with rusty red deserts. Dark markings on the planet were once thought to be fields of plants, but are now known to be simply outcrops of rock. Space probes have landed on Mars to search for life but found nothing. Mars has two white polar caps, much thinner than the polar caps of Earth.
space probes have mapped Mars from orbit, revealing giant craters, volcanic mountains, and a rift valley long enough to span the United States. This flight over Mars was generated by a computer from space probe photographs. There's the rift valley below us. Here's a volcanic peak with a huge crater on its summit. And there are two more, all in line. Jupiter, the largest planet, 10 times wider than Earth, is wrapped in colorful bands of ever-changing cloud. The only permanent feature is a huge oval called the Great Red Spot. Beneath the clouds of Jupiter is an ocean of liquid hydrogen. In this Voyager sequence, the Great Red Spot reveals its nature as a spinning storm, large enough to swallow several Earths. Beyond Jupiter, Saturn, second largest planet, ringed by countless chunks of ice and rock. Voyager skimmed the outer edge of the rings. Saturn's atmosphere lacks multicolored storms like those on Jupiter because high altitude haze obscures them. But computer processing and artificial color brings out subtle cloud details that would otherwise remain unseen. Saturn's rings, at first sight like smooth sheets, broke into thousands of narrow ringlets under the close scrutiny of Voyager's cameras. Again, the colors are added by computer. Here, two small moons orbit either side of a ringlet. And here are dark patches on the rings, caused by overlying clouds of dust. Saturn has more moons than any other planet. At least 20 are known. Uranus and its rings presented a bullseye appearance to Voyager. The planet was toppled on its side by a gigantic collision long ago. Voyager's first pictures showed only a featureless blue disk, but computer processing revealed cloud bands around the pole that points to the sun. And as it passed Uranus, Voyager looked back at the thread-like rings that girdle the planet's equator. Voyager's final port of call was Neptune, another blue-colored planet with narrow rings, in the dark outer reaches of the solar system. From here, the sun appears only as an intensely brilliant point of light. One target of special interest for Voyager was Neptune's largest moon, Triton. Voyager's picture.